Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to detect unknown devices on your Wi-Fi network. So we're going to take a look at today. So first off, you're going to need to know what your router address is. And you can open up command prompt by typing CMD and run this as administrator and type in this command right here, ipconfig, and press enter. And this will give you the default gateway on your Ethernet adapter, which is your network card. And you can see it's given me 192.168.1.1. We'll need to log into this, and this will need a password to log in, and you'll be able to first check there. That's the first port of call. Now, before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Cells. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. Once you select Buy Now, you can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. They don't just do Windows keys, they do Office keys as well. And if you're looking for other versions of keys, then check out their website. Once you submit your order, they will then send you your key and you can use that key to either upgrade from Windows Home Editions to Pro, or you can use it to activate your version of Windows, just like you see on the screen. Okay, so let's get back to the tutorial. So now we know what our IP address is, we can use that to log into our router menu. This will allow us to identify unknown devices on our Wi-Fi network. You can start by checking your router's connected devices on your network by checking inside your router. This is one way of doing it. I'll show you some other ways as well. But once you're inside here, you will see an area called clients. Yours might be different for your particular type of router on this router, which is a TP link. This will give me an area called clients. When I click on this, this will give me a list of all of the devices that are connected to your network. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on clients here. Yours might be different, like I said. So click on wherever it is that's going to list the connected clients on your network. Now, under the device information for my particular router, you can see I've blurred out all the information here because this will give you the name of those uh, items or devices that are connected. It's also going to give you the MAC address and the IP address of these items. And it will tell you whether there's any network activity for that device on the network. And it will tell you also how long it's been connected and so on. So you, this is where you can get that information. I'll show you this in more detail. So let me just uh, click on one of these and we'll see in more detail what these devices are. So you can block these devices from this location as well. So let's take a look at this device here. It's called 6175. So what is that that is connected to your network? There's an IP address and there's also a MAC address there. You can copy the MAC address and you can do a search for it and I'll show you where you can search for MAC address ID so you can find out what device that is that is actually connected on the network. So obviously we don't know what 6175 is and we would want to know what that is because obviously it could be uh, some sort of suspicious activity on your local network. So what you can do is copy the MAC address and you can use other software. So let's go ahead and download Advanced IP Scanner and see whether that gives us any information. This is a free tool that you can use, or you can use Angry IP Scanner as well. And we're gonna download this and install it onto the PC. And once this is installed, we can click on OK here, and we can click on Install, or you could just run it without any installation, but we're just gonna install it because it is quite a useful program, except their terms conditions right here, click Install. And now this is starting to install on the system. Now, these tools can scan your local network and display a list of connected devices along with their IP addresses and MAC addresses. You can also use programs like Thing App and programs like that as well to identify unknown devices. So we're going to let this scan here. You can see I've got the IP range up the top there, which is detected 192.168.1.1. So it's going to search that IP range and find out what is connected to that IP address. So let's go ahead and let that detect. It will take a bit of time, so be patient. You can see it's just scanning. And as it scans our network, it's going to start detecting devices that are connected. And it should give us a name, a status, and also a manufacturer and an IP address and a MAC address, which is important. Every hardware device 
will have its own MAC address that is connected to the network, and this is its ID. Uh, so basically, uh, wherever you go on the internet, your MAC address will be left behind, and this is like your fingerprint for that particular device. So we want to find out what the MAC address is for that particular device, and we can do a search for it, and hopefully it will come up here. If it doesn't, we can also try another method, which I'll show you a little bit later on in the video. But you can see now that it's given me some names of some devices that are connecting. So it works in a similar way to your router of the clients that are connecting to your network. So what we can see here is I can see an Epson printer here. I can see a desktop PC. I can see also VM workstations. I can see the router, which is TP-Link's router. I do actually have two routers on this network. So that is the advanced IP scanner software. Angry IP scanner is another piece of software you can use. I'll show you some other software as well you can use. And we'll also show you how we can identify those MAC addresses as well. So let's open up the command prompt. You can even do this inside Windows in the command prompt. Now this does sort of give you some basic information. You can see ARP A. And uh, what you get here is all of the IP addresses for the connected interfaces. And we can also see which I've blurred out all the MAC addresses for the physical addresses for those devices. And it will tell you whether it's a dynamic or static uh, IP as well. And that's basically how you can quickly check inside of the uh, command prompt here. I'm going to show you another way of actually detecting what that item is. And you can use that as Neurosoft software this is the wireless network watcher and this will also do a scan as well and i'm going to quickly download this and i'll show you this one this is another free program all these applications are free to use they're all safe and uh, i'm just going to quickly unpack this and run it you might see windows protected your pc that's because the software license has not been registered and we're going to run it it is perfectly safe and i can already see on here so I can see on here is now telling me that we have a Ring device and we have some other things on here like Synology and Amazon, which is to do with probably a Fire Stick or something like that. And it will keep going through and search. Now, some of the items might be off, the network turned off, and they might not be detected until they're turned on. There's a printer there. And some of these things are just turned on right now. So that is a really good program. You can also find... Uh, IP addresses and you can also see whether those are active by right clicking on them go to properties and it will tell you whether that uh, device is active on the network now we still don't know what that device is that was connected so let's go ahead and do a bit more investigation by using a website you can use these websites this is called find mac address vendors and all you need to do is paste in the mac address right here and it can it says it's to do with uh, comscope now, Comscope is something to do with a communication device, which is probably a modem or something like that. You can do a search for Comscope and find out what that is, and I'll show you that in a second. But it's probably to do with my modem on the network, which is to do with Virgin Media because that's who owns it, and that's what it's probably to do with. So let's go ahead and take a look. Once we got this information, now we know it, it's called Comscope, and it's not showing up as a device. It's just a number. Well, we can do a search now for Comscope and we'll find out what that is. Like I said, if you're a little bit more familiar with this sort of stuff, you will start understanding what devices are uh, by doing a quick search like this. So I'm going to take that information and we're going to go ahead and go onto Google here and use Google as our friend and do a search. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And we're going to do a search for Comscope and see what it comes up with. And I put a search on, is Conscope Virgin Media? And it says, while Conscope and Virgin Media are partners, that tells me now that it's pointing towards that modem. It says they're not related, they're not the same company. But if you look down the bottom, it says ARRIS works with Virgin Media, and that's what it is. So it is actually the modem router that comes with uh, Virgin Media. So it's their gigabit uh, router that they supply. So now we know what that is. And when I went back and did another search, it, I did an advanced search on it. It actually did come up with the actual name saying A-R-R-I-S. So it did finally detect it. But again, you can always edit it and put your own names in there if you know what they are now.
It's that simple. So that's how you could detect unknown devices on your Wi-Fi network. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.